Hey guys, Milk here. I wanted to make this video because I have seen comments online and videos that talk about kind of the best best gear, what others think you need, and much more under videos like that. I haven't really seen any videos regarding smart, smart firearms decision purchasing, however. I have heard people discuss it in their videos, not really kind of making a whole separate one. So before we get into this at a deeper level, I just wanted to say I'm not a professional. I'm not a professional firearms expert. I'm not a professional economist. Um, not like anything like that. I'm just a normal human, just like you watching right now with a job, family, and bills. This is just something I wanted to talk about because I just thought it was interesting. These numbers are probably not extremely accurate and they most likely do not apply to everyone. So don't, don't take this as like the end all be all and like tell me I'm like cracked out of my mind. You know, I, I know that this is just crazy. This is just um, me picking things that I've seen and heard and um, trying to make a list out of it. This isn't the most expensive versus the cheapest. This is about, you know, being financially smart with your purchasing decisions with all the information available online. So let's get started. Looking at this extremely simple chart I made here, you can see that I chose two firearms to talk about today, and that being a rifle and a pistol. I believe that both of these are what a lot of people will look into um, as the pistol is something that they, can be, that they can carry around to defend themselves and their family and others outside their home while the rifle can be used to defend their home and everything within it. Uh, you can use a pistol to defend your home, you know, not saying you can't, there's plenty of people who do that. Um, but I'm, this is just what I hear most commonly from people that I talk to as well as when I read about as well. Um, you know, I also have read about, um, you know, pistol and shotgun, you know, shotgun for home defense, but um, I'm just going to kind of stick to rifle for this. Um, I'm just going to be going down the list for each side, list off um, why I chose some of the things and explain a little bit of it. Again, I'm not a professional firearms, uh, you know, reviewer, instructor, um, you know, historian or whatever. I'm um, just a normal guy. So let's start over with the expensive side. So starting on the expensive side, I chose BCM and DDM4 because uh, for A, you know, I've been hearing a lot of uh, videos about BCM recently, their quality as well, that they're battle tested. And B, I chose Daniel Defense because it seems that rifle is kind of talked about a lot with, uh, you know, put in quotes, normie gun people as like one of the end all be all for rifles. Um, and I also hear a lot about it when people are writing news articles and such. I did get these prices off of gun brokers doing like a three minute uh, search for them. For the optic, optic, I decided to put up a Trijicon ACOG as they are battle tested, widely used and discussed. There's plenty of videos about them going around. Uh, illumination for rifles. I was not really sure what to even put here, uh, to be quite honest. So I just went into my search history on YouTube and found a video talking about this illuminator. So we're just gonna rock with this for now. Um, muzzle device. I went with a RC2, as there are plenty of reviews and threads preaching about it. Uh, this price does not include the tax stamp either um, for that. Pistols are actually a category that I feel stays the same, whether you're doing expensive or cheap. I think we've kind of gotten to the point where the pistols are kind of pretty much not the same, but they all, they all get the job done in an equal fashion. Um, I think the difference between these two categories and like expensive and like within your budget uh, is going to be that the pistol gets more expensive when you start doing things to it like a trigger upgrade, slide cuts, or even aftermarket slides itself. For the pistol optic, I chose the Trichicon SRO just, just because I've seen them in person and I think they are uh, extremely nice and well built. You know, I'd, I haven't actually shot one, um, you know, just again, just something that I've seen in house. Uh, not in house, but you know, in person. Play carrier, just looked on Reddit for a thread of play carriers. Uh, it's the one that popped up. Helmet. I chose the Opscore helmet. I went with this one because I saw this um, in a Grand Thumb video a while back, one that was rifle rated. There I also saw this headset setup, which is the Peltor Contact 6s. Uh, ammo, I feel like it's fine, you know, just for whatever you need. And training courses is something that I added here because this is a topic that seems to be bought up a lot recently. Um, training courses can range from a few hundred dollars for like a day or two up to thousands and thousands of dollars for a multi-week class. As you can see, uh, not really uh, an extreme amount of research going into this uh, it's because this isn't like something that I would ever even consider looking into this for myself. Um, this is just me looking through this and kind of uh, going based off of search history and kind of what's popular. Adding it up, we get a total price of $9,500. Uh, again, this is just me looking at this as like what I would consider like extremely popular and what is best to put on your rifle. This isn't the best of the best by any means um, that you could put into your kit. Cause like we didn't even get into like 
any night vision, any mounts, actual plates. Um, you know, like we can also consider like boots and packs and a whole bunch of other things to go into this as well. So it's going over to the cheaper side for the rifle. I chose a PSA complete for the bottom price. Uh, since it looked like on their site, they were having a sale going on for about 500 bucks. You could also choose to build your own and mix and match uh, uppers and lowers just to get, and get the best bang for your buck in the price range that suits you. For optics, I chose iron sights as the base. I don't think there's anything wrong with irons. Many, many people have perished at the use of iron sights throughout history. If you are not about uh, going the iron sights route, you can always just get like a red dot or even prism scopes for about like two to three hundred dollars. I got an extremely nice prism scope from Primary Arms for a stupid deal. It was like 70% off. For illumination, I chose a $100 Streamlight, saw it on Primary Arms, good reviews, and read that it works well as well. Muzzle devices aren't really necessary, however, you can probably find something within your budget if you wanted to. Pistols, again, seems like you can find great pistols for cheap nowadays, like older models or even some absolute steals. I saw um, a used Gen 5 Block 19 be put up for sale for about like 400 bucks at a local gun store that's farther out from my home. Uh, for here, I just chose a Gen 5, uh, Gen 3 Glock 19. For pistol optics, again, um, I don't think there's anything wrong with iron sights for pistols. Um, I carried no optic for uh, my pistol for about three years until I decided to try one uh, red out out, and I ended up liking that. Plate carriers in a helmet, I have at zero because you're probably not going to need it, if we're being quite honest. Um, you know. A large majority of people who try and, you know, get into, you know, trying to build a kit and everything, you're, you're, you're never really going to need it. Um, I feel like that's something that you could push off for, like, a very long time in order to actually get for yourself. Um, you know, most of the time, you're probably going to be going up against some crackhead who breaks into your home or someone who has absolutely zero idea what they're doing in the event that somebody actually invades your home. At that point, if you have your fundamentals down, you're probably just going to take care of it pretty quickly headset i chose a walker electronic headset for 50 bucks you know it's all right they offer good hearing protection if you wanted to be safe as well you could throw in some foam ear plugs as well they shouldn't be that expensive at all ammo i feel is you know whatever you can get your hands on lastly is the training course you have access to the largest online video library ever and mountains and mountains of information online that's free it's completely free and you can learn from that and practice at home and on the range um, and the total for this, you know, cheaper build adds up to about a thousand dollars. So I'll go over a little bit of the salary part I have down here. I chose the average American salary, which is 59,428. I believe that's the median salary in 2023. That is before taxes. So again, this is going to be kind of generous again at the bottom here. Um, that divided by 12 for the months is, uh, 4,952. I did the median cost of rent because that's still lower than like the median mortgage in America right now, especially with interest rates. So $18.50 a month. Food, $200, extremely generous. That's like living off of fucking like SpaghettiOs. Uh, utilities, again, $200. That's for electric internet, et cetera, et cetera. And pretty much everyone who owns a home is probably going to be like, yeah, you're on crack for that. Uh, vehicle cost, $250. Again, that's for gas, insurance, et cetera. And a lot of people still have to make payments on a car. And the total after that is going to be $2,452 a month that you have left over. Again, this is putting into perspective, like this is before taxes, and this is going to be um, very, very generous for like food utilities and vehicle costs, and maybe even rent and slash mortgage for some people. So where does that leave us? Does that mean that you were, that people go either all the way to the most expensive into the cheapest, uh, I did most definitely not. Uh, the, the, the most expensive build on the left you're gonna see, uh, that's for like the, that's for people who do this shit for a living, content creation, they do like weapon reviews, um, or they're just people who have lots and lots and lots of money compared to us. And again, as I said previously, this doesn't even go into like night vision or anything else that's crazy because we're still leaving out quite a bit here. So, you know, I think the moral of the story here is to um, buy within your means and to not be afraid to, you know, either pick and match what you want or build your own things or even go with some lower end stuff. You know, there's been plenty of times where I've bought and shit that's supposed to be like way more um, expensive and better than like, for example, like car parts where I've bought the, the most expensive option I can and then that shit breaks. And then that pisses me off because you know, I spent so much money on that shit when it was supposed to be the best of the best, you know. Um, 
you don't really need to you know look out and go buy you know the two thousand dollar rifle with the fifteen hundred dollar optic and you know etc 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 you, you most likely don't need that you know if you're on the range and practicing that's fine if you're preparing for something you know then save up for it it's okay to save up for months on end in order to get the kind of stuff you need without going into debt without doing you know you can see on some of these sites these crazy ass like aprs to like buy uh you know gun parts and stuff like 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 upwards of like 30 percent apr that's ridiculous you don't need to do that it's okay to save up for months it took me uh, months to save up for my new carry you know i have a nice ar that i have and then i have a nice pistol that i do for concealed carry and other than that i buy cool mill because that's what makes me happy and that's what i think is awesome what i think uh, more people need to focus on is themselves and their family because at the end of the day that's really what's going to come down to you know those are the people that are going to care about you and your well-being you know you can post your cool gear on reddit or like your home defense stuff and you're just going to get like updates or something or you know underneath the comment section of a youtuber and you might get a like there a few comments or somebody calling you like uh, a fucking idiot because you didn't you didn't go with this PSA build that just that does uh, just as well as your BCM like it doesn't fucking matter none of none of it matters like at the end of the day a gun's gonna fucking shoot either way there's probably some dudes still out there getting smoked right now by a flintlock still like you know does that does that mean you should only stick with one or the both no pick and choose build what you want don't go into debt for this take care of yourself and your family first because at the end of the day, that's probably the that's probably the event that's gonna happen the most in the future, or the most likely to occur, is that something happens financially where you can't support your family. That should be your main priority is to take care of you and your family, not to try and get night vision, um, not to try and get the best of the best gear, because what it does come down to is the training you have. You know, that will supplement for a lot. Um, ever, will it supplement for everything? No, of course not. But, you know, I'd rather, uh, <laughs> uh, I'd rather be training and then just buying cool stuff. Um, you know, there's, again, plenty of examples, like people picking up, like, a $100 guitar and being able to shred it. You know, it all comes down to practice. So, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Am I off the mark here? Or am I just, you know, am I yapping over here? Uh, let me know your build. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, like and subscribe. And I hope to see everyone next time. And give me some more uh, ideas to talk about in the future. So, peace.